Hey everybody, sorry for the late technical difficulties. All right, very quickly, I'd like to talk. My name is Jason Meredith. I am a staff software engineer at Procore. I'm also the lead and one of the maintainers on Argo Helm. My talk is Core Quest Welcome. We mean this in a very nice way. Um, so thank you, Joel, for letting me use your image for the slide deck. These are our projects, and as was mentioned earlier, we've had a pretty um, strong increase in contributors to, per, uh, to Argo this year. Um, Argo CD and Argo Workflows especially, but rollouts and events have increased also. And you got the central repo where we track membership and stuff like that. When you're contributing to open source, the first question is where do you start? As always, in my opinion and other opinions, documentation is a great way to start it. Um, and a great way to contribute to docs is to try to set up your local environment. Um, we've all seen some pain points in some open source projects to do that, and a good way to help other people is to contribute to the doc documentation for that. Another little hidden gem that a lot of people, even very strong software engineers that I've met that don't know, there's a slash contribute URL built into GitHub. And if the repository has flagged the issues with a good first issue, they'll show up in this list. All of the Argo projects have tagged issues with good first issue. So if you're looking for a low-hanging fruit issue to take on for your first contribution, this is a great place to start. But as always, if you have an idea or a contribution you'd like to make, make sure you go look at existing issues and pull requests and see if there's one you want to attach or maybe take on. So if there's an issue that exists but no pull request, you can grab that and go from there. The best place to communicate is the Slack. That's the link at the bottom. It's very active. The channels are Argo-CD, Argo-Workflows, self-explanatory, and people are very friendly. Um, I'm in the Argo Helm one, pretty active, um, and we have many people here in the audience that are contributing to the others. If you do contribute often, there is a membership scale that you can go into. You start out as a member, you get nominated by two other people in the group, and you can actually get into the org, and you get more uh, focus into the system. Then you can become a reviewer, an approver, and eventually a lead. And that's kind of what I did kind of on the side with Argo Helm is at Procore, we needed it. We're a Helm shop, and uh, it was a little bit behind, and Marco, the other maintainer, was pretty overwhelmed. So for the past 18 months, I've helped out, and I've become a lead. And uh, we have a couple other people in the audience, like uh, Tim Collins, who helps out a lot with the Argo Helm charts. The other place to contribute and get involved is the calendar. So that on, um, on the websites, you'll find a link to the uh, Argo calendar, and you can actually contribute to the community or um, contributing meetings. Um, they're open to the community. Uh, some of the meetings, I think they're only the maintainer meeting. You have to be a maintainer to attend. But there's also SIG meetings, like security and scalability. So if you want to learn more about the project, just listen in. You don't really have to contribute, but you can go into the Zoom meetings. And there's a Google Doc where they take notes what happened in the meeting. So all those links are available through the Argo website. Here's the resource links, death by text. Uh, this is Puka. Puka thanks you for attending. This was short and sweet. Um, I wanted to thank the Argo Helm approvers and maintainers, and then the software delivery folks at Procore for helping. Especially a call out to, again, Tim Collins. He motivated me to do this talk. So, yeah, short and sweet. Thank you, everybody. Oh, and this is my Venmo QR code. Just kidding, that's the feedback QR code. Please be kind. <laughs>